Good day, folks. Boda Bob here. Hey, I'm working on my Kia. What I got? What I got? My 2012 Kia Optima Hybrid. The last time I had my Pennsylvania state inspection performed, the uh, garage told me I was going to need new brakes for the next inspection. My uh, sticker runs out in May. I've taken the front wheel off and turned the wheels. And so now we're going to get into it. Now, before we get going, I just want to tell you that this is not a how-to video. This is a how Bob does it. So if you see I did something wrong, please don't hesitate to shout it out. Tell me in the comments down below. So what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to remove is this bolt and this bolt. And what that's going to do, that's going to allow us to remove the caliper. Okay, I've removed those two bolts. One there and one on the opposite side down here. Okay, I removed the caliper. One thing you don't want to do is let the caliper hang by the hose. I have it resting on the steering linkage tie rod right here. Okay, next thing we're going to do is remove these pads. I'm going to take the rest of this off. So the next thing you have to do is take off your uh, assembly. I'm going to go ahead and you got two bolts, one down here and one up here. I know from doing the other side, they're 17 millimeter. You can use uh, automatic wrenches, you know, electric wrenches or air pneumatic, but I don't have the right ones. So I'm, the best tool that I have for this job is just an ordinary wrench. Let's go ahead and remove the disc. And we're going to do that with a Phillips screwdriver. It's held on by two um, screws. Usually they're um, a little bit tight. Well, it's not usually. Sometimes I find that the first one's tight. Good, you didn't fall. So I knock it a little bit and that usually breaks the hold. The second one usually comes out after that. Not this time. So you don't want to want to round out your bolt. There's Oh boy, huh. that's a tight one. First one I haven't been able to take out. All right, I'm back. So what I did is I got a, a good quality um, bit for my uh, brushless impact gun, set it on the medium torque, and it came right loose. We're gonna remove the disc and it's tight and again, just a little persuasion. And that's it. Really, the disc looks very good. I could probably reuse it, but um, I went ahead and just bought new discs um, and we'll put them on here in a minute. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pad that we removed we're going to place it here. We're going to take a C-clamp to do brake work over in Japan. You had to have a license. You had to be certified at it. And really, brakes are not that hard. Now, I have the uh, master cylinder cap off. Even though the hood is down, the master cylinder cap is off. And I'm going to compress. This is a piston. There's a rubber around here. And if these are worn out real bad, I understand that the piston will actually come out of the uh, sleeve, the uh, cylinder. And um, at that point, you need to get a new caliper. So um, when you feel resistance, just let it, let the brake fluid go out. I just take my time, compress it, the screws to hold it on. refrain from 
I'm gonna clean the front surface once I put these bolts in. Important to keep your brakes clean when you're doing the job, in my opinion. Again, this is all my opinion. This is how I do things. I'm not telling you this is the correct way. The parts that I'm using are from Bosch and I'll take a picture of the box and um, put it up here. I don't know if they're the best. It's what fit on my car and it's what the Big A recommended. Going to use a little thread locker. This isn't the heavy duty stuff. This is the medium duty. the blue thread lock it looks like they might have had it on here might have been why it was so difficult to take off Now, the next thing we need to do is put the pads on. Look up some videos on YouTube. I found a couple good ones to get me started. It's been many years since I've done this. I did this on, I used to work in a machine shop when I was uh, in high school, before I went in the Air Force. And um, most of the brake jobs I did were, um, drums and shoes and I did it with the supervision of my uh, the owner of the shop you want to put this clip this uh, vibrator clip it tells you when the disc pads are um, worn out there we go I'm going to grab the caliper, swing it into place. By the way, I compressed that. I don't remember if I compressed it on camera or not. Ratchet wrench works well for holding the cal or tightening the caliper. So it's snug. Oh, there's probably torque, mm, torque specs for it. I probably should have went back and double checked. Um, I see some dirt here I want to clean up looks really really good by the way there is a jack stand under the frame we're almost done all I gotta do is straighten the wheel out put the wheel and tire back on all right friends oh I forgot one thing we need to put the cap back on the brake reservoir. I did not do the um, brake fluid. I did not flush the brake fluid, but that's um, on the to-do list. I got the appropriate brake fluid, dot three and four. If you'd like to see me do the uh, brake fluid, go ahead, drop a comment down below. Tell me you'd like to see me uh, do the brake fluid. It's Again, it's not a how-to. It's just Bob doing it. I bought a uh, tool that'll let me do it by myself because I don't have anybody here to pump the brakes for me. So we're going to give that a try here probably next week or the following week. It's not something that has to be done in order for me to get the inspection, but I'm going to go take my car for a test drive. And until next time, you know what to do. Smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button ring that notification bell, and I'll see you the next time here on Boda Bob's. Life is short. Enjoy the journey. Cheers. Stop. Record.